Hey peaches, what's up? So today I'm going to be bringing you my back to school makeup. I try to make this pretty friendly to people who are new to makeup and who are kind of younger if you guys are interested in wearing makeup. I also thought this would be simple because it's not like really dramatic. You don't have to do a lot of work. It just kind of helps enhance your natural features. It's not a glam look. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. I hope that you're excited for school to be over already. Is that too soon to say it? The first week of school? But I hope that you guys do have an easy school year. I'm trying to come out with a couple videos on some school fashion as well um, and as soon as I can have some help filming that those will be out too. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is going to be quick so that you guys can follow me along since it is Monday morning on doing your makeup today and we'll go ahead and get into it. Okay, so step one, you obviously want to start with a clean face, so make sure that you wash your face and do your toner and whatever your skin regime is. I'm going to be doing a video pretty soon about what I use um, because I finally found all my drugstore products that I really love to use. And so I've already done that. I've moisturized with my Cetaphil moisturizing cream, which I tell you guys all the time, I absolutely love this stuff. And for my primer, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I actually started using this because if you guys don't know, I do shave my chin. I have polycystic ovary syndrome, so I have really thick, dark hair on my chin and this helps with um, making my skin not look so bad afterwards. And actually I heard, I think Nikki Tutorials is the first one who used this as a primer and she really loved it. I didn't use this as a primer until pretty recently and I actually really loved it because my makeup stayed on super good all day long. And so I'm gonna use that all over my face. The other good advantage about using this is you'll smell like a really good man all day. Is that an advantage? I don't know. So I pretty much just tried to find kind of cheaper drugstore stuff to use throughout this video, but I also wanted to incorporate what I use if I'm actually wearing a makeup look like this. So some of it is a little bit more expensive, but anything that I have a dupe for, I will link in the down bar, and I'm also going to try to find the prices for all of this, just so you guys kind of can be prepared. And also, I think I only am going to use like two eyeshadows in this, but... They're super, super just like plain eyeshadows, so you can definitely find a duplicate pretty much anywhere. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my Boing Concealer from Benefit. I'm just going to take a little concealer brush, and the one I'm using is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put that basically in the corner of my eye. I like to take it a little bit above my eye, and then I'll take whatever's left over and kind of work it out this way. Uh, and I find that if I do this, it just really helps cover my dark circles, which if you guys don't struggle with dark circles, you definitely don't have to worry about this step. So just taking a little bit of that, you can already tell what a big difference it makes in making my face look a good bit brighter. So if I was doing kind of an everyday makeup look that I wear, I would use my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay, and I feel like this just helps make everything look a good bit brighter through there. Today I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal um, Concealer. This one is pretty cheap and it is in the lightest color. I think this one is in Fair, which is number 10. And I'm just going to put a little bit towards the front of my eye. Then I'm going to use my Morphe E8 brush. A subscriber recommended that I try this one for blending my concealer. And ever since then, it is all that I have used over my Beauty Blender and everything else. So you guys definitely should check that out. Again, it will be in the description. And I like to go ahead and take whatever concealer I finish um, this little part with over my eyelids to make sure everything's even right there as well. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Super Stay Better Skin from Maybelline. I talked about this a little while ago. I had the whole line when it came out. I found everything, so I went ahead and got everything. And I really, really love this foundation. I feel like it's really good and super easy to blend out. I'm going to use my Morphe M439 brush that looks like this. This is going to help blend everything out a lot quicker than using a beauty blender will. But if that is your preferred method and it is better for your skin, definitely do it. I just like to do this if I'm in a hurry because it makes it go by so much quicker. So then that is actually it as far as foundation goes. To set everything, I have a couple recommendations. The RCMA powder, 
um, that everybody talks about all the time now is actually only $12 on Beautylish and you get so much product that I really don't feel like that's a bad price and for me nothing sets under my eyes better than this so that is what I'm going to use today if you need a good alternative the other thing that I like to use is the Cody Airspun powder in just translucent so I'm going to use that over the rest of my face and then the RCMA powder under my eyes and I'm going to be using a Real Techniques Beauty um, sponge and I have this pretty damp so that nothing is going to get too cakey using those powders Now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with the um, air spun, like I said, to set the rest of my face. And I'm just using this side of my sponge. I'm just getting some product there. If you have dry skin, this is definitely not a necessary step. If you suffer from oily skin, I do feel like this helps the longevity of your makeup a lot throughout the day. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take all that excess off. So I'm just really gently brushing over my face with this fluffy brush. So for brows, if you're someone who doesn't like to fill them in, I say don't worry about it. Um, especially because if you have like PE and all that kind of stuff, you're just going to have to worry about stuff falling and fading and slipping off of your face. So I'm just going to show you guys a really quick method to fill them in. I do recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hill um, Dip Brow because I feel like that stays perfectly throughout the day. But this is just a good alternative if you just want to fill in a couple sparse areas, which I feel like is all I would feel like messing with in high school because when I was in high school, I didn't even do my brows. And this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in taupe, so it has a spoolie in and then it just has the end with your um, actual pencil on it. So I'm going to use that side. As you guys just saw, I was brushing my brows out and I'm just going to kind of lightly put this anywhere where I feel like my brows could use some help. So then after I do that, I do like to go back in with the Boing Concealer or whatever concealer is a cream consistency like this one. And I just like to clean up underneath. I feel like this makes a really big difference. If you want an extra little added bit of hold and color to your brows. I like to use the Maybelline Brow Drama. This is in soft brown and this is actually a mascara for your brows and the brush is super unique. It just looks like this. So I will just go back over all of this to make sure that they stay in place and keep that color on all day long. Now for the eyes I'm going to be using my Milani eyeshadow primer. This is super cheap. I think it's like six dollars at the drugstore. So then for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Matte Eye Palette, but again, the colors I'm going to be using are pretty um, easy to replicate. I'm going to be using Tufted Suede, which is this one right here. It's just a nice, soft tan. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm using a Morphe brush. It does not have a number, but it's just a nice, um, fluffy crease brush. Okay, so I zoom you guys in a little bit closer. That's pretty much it for the eyeshadow as far as what goes in the crease. Then I'm just going to take London Fog down here, which is a nice dark navy blue. And I'm just going to use this little brush here. This is like a pencil brush from Morphe. Again, doesn't have a number on it. And then I'm just going to put that on my lash line pretty much um, where you would put liner. And if you want to go back over it with liner, you definitely can. I just feel like this kind of does a nice little effect that makes it kind of look like you're wearing false lashes because it makes your lash line look a lot thicker. Okay, so your line for this definitely doesn't have to be perfect since it isn't liner. And if you want to go back over with some eyeliner, you can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my mascara. I'm just going to take whatever is left over on that brush of the blue and really lightly take it on the outer corner of my lower lid as well lower lash line I meant. I always say that. On my upper lashes I'm going to be using my Scandal Eyes from Rimmel and I'm also going to be using my Lash Blast from 
CoverGirl. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I'm also going to use my Lash Blast on my lower lash line as well. So after the eyes are done, I'm going to be going in with this Milani Powder Blush in the color um, Romantic Rose. This is one of my favorites. It is from the drugstore and it just looks like this. I get this at CVS, I think is where I can find it. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. I'm actually going to put a little bit of it on the sides of my nose like I was contouring and up near my hairline because this is going to give you a little bit more natural effect than if you actually use a bronzer. Last but not least for the lips, I'm going to be using two of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I'm using London and Tokyo, and I'm going to take London first and just put that all over. Then I'm going to take Tokyo and put it in the middle of my lip and rub them together. It's going to give you a nice effect of having kind of a more dimensional look to your lips without having to do a lot of extra work. Okay, and then that is pretty much it for this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I wanted this to be super easy and simple and just kind of quick. Um, I wear this on the regular pretty much today in my natural life. I might do like a wing liner or something instead of um, nothing there. But other than that, I wear this pretty often. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope that you are already having a fantastic school year if you're like one or two weeks in or this is your first day or whatever it may be. I hope that you guys can stay positive and just power through this year. I know that it's always awful going back to school though. If you have any specific requests that you would like to see from me, be sure to leave those down below so that I can do them for you. I will have my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Twitter link down below if you're interested in following me there. Just make sure you're not tweeting in all that good stuff during school because I don't want you to get in trouble. And we are finished for today. So I will see you guys on Friday. I hope that you have an awesome first week back if it is your first week back. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.